Hi, you guys. Hello. I'm back. So, yeah, I've been going for a little bit, but I've been going through um, a couple of changes, a new place, a new job. And um, <clears throat> I guess God was like, yeah, so you're going to have to give up this new relationship. So I am no longer with um, who I thought was like the perfect guy for my life. And it's it's okay, because one thing that I'm learning is when you lose somebody in your life, even if you love them, it's not always the best thing to have them in your life. Just because you love somebody doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them or that you're supposed to continue to have them in your life. You, you know, everyone has a reason, a season, and a lifetime. And um, what we had was like, I feel like was a soulmate connection. It was everything i feel like that's my heart but at the end of the day things happen um and you got to move on so i'm using this opportunity i guess god bless me with um the move a, a bigger apartment in a better area um <clears throat> and the new job which i'm making i can't even say probably triple it's not even triple it's quadruple what i was making um damn just like six months ago like it's, it's crazy so there were major changes that needed to happen in my life and right now i'm back to being single that seems like the pisces thing is that we're serial daters that we are serial serial singlers i guess if that's anything um, but one thing I also um, had to remind myself was that I forgot about um, my channel. I forgot about the things that I wanted to do. So this just gave me a little perspective on um, this space that me and my ex have gotten between each other, which surprisingly enough, it's almost been a, it's only been like a month. This is, is not, it hasn't been long and we do still talk, but at the end of the day, something I didn't tell him, something that I'm realizing myself is that I forgot about me. And sometimes people tend to lose themselves in their relationships, which is not healthy. Um, I had a lot of stuff that I had to step back and realize. And another thing that I had to understand is that if someone leaves you in your roughest times, they're really not for you. You know, because people are going to be there through thick and thin. Um, if they come back, then it's meant to be. And I'm so sorry about that beeping noise because typically I hate that. And I'm still waiting for my new batteries, a special battery that has to be put into my CO detectors. And only one has been changed. So it's all right, but you got to forgive and excuse that um, beeping sound in the back. But anyways, um... Yeah, so I'm just going to get back to um, making sure that I'm paying attention to me. I'm not forgetting about my channel and um, I have subscribers that have been great to me. And I just like gave a video here and then left. Another thing that kind of kept me away was <clears throat> the negative comments. Like I didn't pay attention to them at first and I, I would just ignore them. I didn't read them because it's very disparaging. You got a lot of crazy people out there, people that are not happy with themselves and um, one day I just decided to go through the comments and I was like, wow, people are really hateful and disgusting and just like unhappy with their own lives. So much so that they need to make someone else feel unhappy. And that will never happen with me. I'm always happy with me. Um, I have issues, I have problems, but I share them in hopes that I can help someone else's life or let someone else know, hey, you know, we're all going through this or this is that. It's just sharing our life experience. We all feel alone. So we do this thing, not only to make money, but always to feel a part of something. So um, reading the comments, it was very disparaging. It was negative. It was disgusting. I had people call me a black bitch, a nigga. I look like a man. And the funny thing is like, okay, so what? Like, that's how you feel? I get it. Great. Um, I don't feel that way. The guys that I meet, the guys that I date, the guys that are always in love with me, they continue to come back. They don't feel that way. So at the end of the day, that's your opinion. Great. But you're watching my videos. Thank you very much. So 
moving right along. But <clears throat> I'm learning now to have tougher skin. As Pisces, we can be very sensitive, emotional, and we move with the current. So I haven't been sticking with my videos. I haven't been staying dedicated. And the thing with YouTube videos I'm learning is consistency is key. So I'm not going to be one of those people. I might get one. I'm not going to say I'm not. But I'm going to try to be as real as possible. Everything that's going to come from my videos is going to be home-based. I'm not going to set up a damn fake studio because at the end of the day, we're not creating videos or I'm not creating videos to have like a little fake studio and a selfie light and it's just like dude like if that's what you do great me personally this is straight from home this is gonna be for me recording doing videos and um that's it so I'm just happy to be back I'm happy to be sharing my new life I'm just gonna be you know just setting up everything and sharing with you guys and just what it's like to be single again i hate it i want to be back in my relationship and i miss my cuddly bear he's so big and cute but yeah he's a big boy i love i love big guys like i don't like this it depends everybody has their cuteness but my guy was like a big guy and i didn't mind it like i i, I was so infatuated him anyway. He's an Aquarius and maybe it just wasn't meant to be. So the love, love, love of my life. And um came in quick and left out quick. So we had a lot planned and it just didn't go as planned. So it's cool, but you know, this is just a new start and I would love to share with everyone. Um Comment, like, subscribe, you know, if you want to say whatever, that's fine. I'm going to try my best to ignore those things and not read them. But at the end of the day, trees, please, trees, please <laughs> try to be as respectful as possible. And, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. If not, then whatever. Um, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to get to a few things. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I definitely want to, you know, send a prayer out to Houston. Um, I'm definitely going to try to do what I can on my end. It's not to put out there to say what I'm going to do personally. That's not what I'm doing it for, but I am going to do my part, um, what I can for those in Houston. And um, just to remind us that we are so blessed and lucky to have what we have and those things don't happen to us. We need to definitely pray for those who are going through those issues and that are less fortunate and don't have the response time that FEMA and the government should. You know, um, any of these travesties like, you know, um, with New Orleans, with Sandy Hook, with um, any, any of these things, Hurricane Sandy, we need to always pull in and be, you know, supportive as much as possible my prayers go out i'm definitely going to do my part and i'm hoping that everyone else does and um just continue to stay you know thankful prayerful and mindful that we should be always thanking god and be appreciative for the things that we have and that's it so i'm probably going to do another video because i have a serious gripe about joel osteen i'm so flabbergasted but now that I'm really realizing, you know what's so funny? I watch his preaching. I watch his ministries. And every time I see him, I always see him by the podium. I always hear him talking about the word. And I feel like something is missing. I would think like, okay, maybe it's a choir because, you know, I was raised in a black church. My mom was an evangelist. Um, now my sister is one. You know, we were literally like dang on near born in the church. And I'm just like, something's missing. Like whenever I watch Joel Osteen, like the words of encouragement are great, but it's like, it doesn't feel, I don't feel like it's completely church. The way he speaks, he speaks like a motivational speaker. That's what I was missing. He speaks like he's Tony Roberts. And proof positive for me was that this man sends out a tweet not even a video, a tweet and says, um, me and Victoria's prayers go out to Houston. Dude, you're from Houston. Your church was built off of the people, the parishioners that 
take their hard earned money and come and believe in God and look for an answer from you. They help build that church. And you're not even opening the doors to people who have lost everything. People who are walking down the street with their babies, elderly people that are stuck in elderly homes with three feet of water. You know, the pictures are just amazing. And he's sitting with this church that had probably 20 or 30 cars in the parking lot. Not even that, 10 or 20, because I didn't even see 20. I only saw 10. 10 or 20 cars in the parking lot. And the doors are closed. It was raised above the freeway, so it was completely dry. It was standing on solid high ground, no water flooding, and it was a stadium that could have held thousands of people. And you let these people walk in water for days? Jesus was the exact opposite of that. He gave up everything and he told Matthew, he told the disciples, give up everything to walk with him, be his disciples, and you know, preach the word of God and bring it to others. And you're supposed to be a preacher, and you didn't even do something as simple as opening the church. The church is for the people. That's what the church is for. The money that goes into the church. Is to have shelter for those who are in need, who are sick, who need a place. Forget laws, forget, you know, citations and all that. You deal with all that later. That's what you have the insurance for and the money backed up and the lawyers and whatever, if if that's what you have it for. But you couldn't even open. People are saying, oh, we, you don't know what he had to go. Stop, 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 stop. It's never about that. Yes, obey the laws of the land, but you couldn't even open your doors elderly people, babies, and you want to send out a tweet? I have never been so disgusted in my life, and I'm completely against these televangelists like Joel Osteen. I used to follow Creflo when I was in Atlanta. When I heard him, you know, asking his parishioners to help him pay for a G6 private jet for him to fly in, not even to fly other kids or the church, just for him and his wife to fly in to go. You have got to be joking. Like this is exactly the opposite of what is taught to us in the Bible and what Jesus was talking about. And you go and do this. Like it's, it doesn't even make sense to me. Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar. Um, you know, I can't, you know, this Hillsong pastor, it's so, to me, it's very demonic. Like it just reminds me of the stories that they warned us about when we were young about how this would come to pass and how soon enough that we wouldn't even be able to escape this evil, that evil would be the new norm, that we would no longer be a country of God, which we are slowly becoming. It used to be, you know, we stood up and pledged allegiance to the flag um, and it was all about God. And then they got that out the church. Now you're putting up rainbow flags and not to say anything against anybody because I love all my people. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not God. Your journey is your own. But to stop and put God out of the church, this to me kind of bred, um, it kind of bred the seed for us to be able to open the door to have somebody as bold as Joel Osteen come out and don't even have a Bible on his podium. He just be talking about scriptures. He's not even going through the word with them. It's no Bible up there. People got to pay attention and stay vigilant. It says stay sober and vigilant. So, you know, those people that come in and rebuke him in his church is for a reason because they know. They know that's not of God. That, that is definitely not of God. And if anything has taught me, you know, if I wasn't sure before, I'm damn sure, sure now. Like this, him not opening doors of that church for those people that were just walking in water with no place to go. If Jesus was here today, dude, like God bless him. But, you know. I'm back, y'all. I will be doing my videos more consistently. I will be here every day. I will be reviewing. I will be doing all that I was doing before remaining sexy, single, and Lola. All right. So I will see you guys later.
please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please start watching my boy, um, Tyler's Tarot. He is amazing. That's my dude. But I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.